Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I went from this mess to this very clean pixie. So I'm going to show you how I clean up my pixie so you can do the same at home. So as you can see, I have been growing out my hair and I have been getting a lot of wings in the back. Generally, this is the part that bugs most of us. Um, it's unruly, my hair is wavy, but I do end up cleaning it up and I make it look really nice and clean. So if you have someone to help you, this is going to be great. You're going to need a mirror, a comb, clips, texture shears or thinning shears a pair of scissors and you're going to need a clipper and a cape so make sure that the cape is really really tight because you don't want to get any hair on you so i'm going to start off with the eight guard and i did want to show you the guard so i'm going to be using an eight and a six the eight is bigger than the six so it actually takes out less hair i always start with the larger one because i have to be super cautious making sure that i'm not taking out too much hair i am growing out my hair but i do have a photo shoot tomorrow so i want to make sure this is all clean these lines are killing me <laughs> they're so messy this is in a very awkward stage but it is what it is. So the first thing you want to do is section the hair forward, just comb it and then take it from the crown to above the ear. So you don't want to take anything behind the ear. You want to take it from the crown to in the front of the ear because I want to keep that kind of shaggy look in the front. I had just given myself a trim and if you want to see that shag uh, trim for my bangs, I will link it below. So you can see a lot of the bulk is right in the back in the nape of the neck. That's usually where our hair tends to get really, really thick and heavy and it really, really bugs so let's get rid of it so this is the eight guard this is the larger one you want to clip it on and you want to use the little lever and push it up so that you can have an 8.5 so I'm gonna start off with an 8.5 because I am super cautious with these clippers I'm not going up which is the traditional way of using clippers I'm going down with the curve of my neck and right behind the ear I'm following the natural fall of my hair it generally just kind of like comes around my neck and it is wavy so the clippers are not going to give me the cleanest cut but they are going to take off some of the bulk and it's just going to kind of shave off whatever needs to be taken off if you have a hairline that is really messy this is a great idea for you it's not going to be super clean if you take the clippers upwards you can end up with really messy bald patches if you're not used to using it and if you're going to do it yourself it's very very tricky i have a very low hairline so this is the safest way to go about it grab some chunks of the hair and go down and you can see it's taking off a little bit not a whole lot but it is the safest way to start I'm gonna go from an 8.5 to an 8 and then I'm gonna do a 6 so always start with the larger one and then go shorter and shorter a lot of people are afraid of using clippers uh, or guards on clippers because they're they automatically think that you're gonna go like skin tight and that you're gonna like shave it to a zero but the guards are there to help you and no one ever uses an eight guard i've actually never used an eight guard on anybody um, if i have to go that long i usually just use scissors so when you do this you want to go underneath the occipital bone where our head curves everyone's head shape is different so do whatever works for you and then just flick it with your wrist to get the best result so now i'm going to take the lever down and i'm going to take it back into a number eight eight is still really really long and it's not taking out a lot of hair so if you if your hair is longer and you're just trying to clean up your neckline then you can still just probably just use an eight i don't ever remember using an eight to be honest it's just way way too long but really good if you want to keep the length of your hair okay now we're grabbing a six and i did want to show you the width of the six it's still really long it's not a huge difference from the eight and i did start with a 6.5 i realized it wasn't taking off anything and so now i'm going in with the six now you can use any other guard you can use a four you can use a three those are much much shorter so if you have less hair than me then you can definitely go much smaller with your guards but where I'm growing out my hair, I really want to go sh shaggy, kind of like a mullet look, maybe take it into a bob. I just really miss kind of having longer hair, not long, long, but like short, long, not a pixie. And I want to play with it because it's feeling really healthy. It's feeling like I like the wave. I'm just going to fast forward through this and I'm just taking little chunks of hair and feeling as I go. See, I'm putting my hand right underneath my occipital bone. You do not want to take the clippers over the occipital bone you don't want to do that that could really take away a lot of that weight we need that 
kind of weight to sit underneath or onto the occipital bone to give us that really nice rounded shape in the back. And if you take that off, you could end up with a real disaster in the back. So I'm being super careful. And again, just flick the wrist and just go with the round of the head once you find that kind of sweet spot. And you can see that some hair is coming off, but not too much, like it's exactly what I want. Um, then you can just keep on going until you get all of the hair, keep combing it. Again, if you have somebody who to help you with this, you're very, very lucky. I'm going sideways now, just kind of taking it diagonally because when you cut hair diagonally, it always does fall a little bit softer. Okay, let's take out the clips and see how this is feeling. So I'm just gonna comb the front into the back to make sure that it fits nice. So see that little piece that needs to be taken out with some shears. So you wanna comb the hair downwards at a diagonal section, take it down, and then just cut off whatever is sticking out so that you have a clean line hugging your neck. If it's not hugging your neck, it's gonna look a little bit messy. So take your scissors and just cut off any hairs that are not lining up with the rest of the hairs that you just cut. So we're not doing a huge cut here, we're just lining up the lines because that shorter, those shorter pieces that are graduated at the neck are going to push up and create structure for the longer hairs. So it just has to blend well, it doesn't have to be super professional. For me personally, I just wanted the wings behind my ears to be gone because for my photo shoot, I was gonna be wearing some sweaters, some turtlenecks, and I knew that it was going to just act out and be super frizzy and I would have asked a photographer to photoshop it out. So basically we're just killing off the waves and making it look sleek. So see this little piece here, because I have a low neckline, it's a little bit tricky. So I'm using a little bit of a sliding technique. You can also use a razor for this and just kind of open and close to take off any hairs that your scissors are not going to get and that your comb is going to miss, which is bound to happen because we're working at a really awkward angle when we cut our own hair. So just keep going and do what feels right for you until you feel like all of the lines are clean and you don't don't really have that messy back anymore. So now I'm taking the front and I'm lining it up to the back and I'm doing the same thing, just kind of cleaning up any hairs that are not lining up with the bottom. So I wanna create a diagonal line that is called kind of like a graduation so that when I tuck my hair back, there are no hairs that are sticking out that are too long. And now it's looking really messy, but I am going to pull out a razor. So this razor is a guarded razor. I will link it below. And I start by shaving the neckline. So everyone's neckline is different or hairline is different. And you shave whatever feels right for you. I'm just using the flat edge. And because it's guarded, it's not dangerous to use. I, you can use it on kids too. And I'm just cleaning up around the hairline and I'm, I'm going around my own neckline. I call it neckline or hairline interchangeably, whatever works for you. And I'm feeling it as I go around the neck. It's always good to have another mirror there to see what you're doing or somebody to help you. So be very slow and very, very deliberate with this. I'm feather stroking this here right behind my ear, just doing kind of like little feather strokes into the hair because this part of our neck, it doesn't seem like we have a lot of hair there, but we do. So what this does is it creates kind of this feathery neckline uh, instead of a very strong, sharp line. I don't want a sharp line. It's just so much more feminine and even a lot of guys with their longer hair are going for more of a wispy neckline than a very sharp hairline. Everyone's hairline is different, so go with whatever is natural for you. So I'm gonna grab my texture shears. You can grab thinning shears. I will also link them below, grab a comb, and start grabbing the hair that is beneath the occipital bone and now you're blending it into the round of the head behind the ear. You're taking it right at the scalp and slowly opening and closing. Don't go nuts here because we actually sometimes have more hair on one side than the other. I don't know if I cut more on one side than the other, but I did feel like my left side had more hair. So wherever you feel like it's heavy, just kind of run your fingers through it and see wherever there is bulk and heaviness. And then you want to cut with the hair lifted upwards because when it's up, it is softer. 
whatever else needs to be taken off go back in with your razor with your texture shears and I always like to pinch the hair to make sure that I cut enough and I'm using my texture shears as my scissors and I'm just kind of opening and closing enough to just cut off the hair but it doesn't give me a very sharp line and that's what I love about the texture or the thinning shears it doesn't give you a very sharp line it looks very blended and very much like much cleaner than using just regular shears if you use regular shears you might end up with very straight blunt lines this is a finished look guys i'm gonna go in with some kevin murphy product this is my freehold i love this product really nice on damp hair and just to make sure that those wavy hairs don't come back that's it this is it the fringe looks amazing check out that video if you want to learn how to cut your own bangs so that it's shaggy and this is the finished look it's not perfect if i was doing this for a client i would have done a very different job but in an emergency situation you gotta do what you gotta do thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helped please leave some comments give it a like subscribe if you like it i'll see you in another video make sure you follow me on instagram alina's makeup and hair and i'll see you again very soon bye bye